All right, Shalom Israel. This is the brother Awarba coming back at you again with another lesson. Um, before I get started, I'm gonna give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who are well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect that's out there laboring, co-laboring in this truth, <coughs> helping to erect the house of David. And help breathe life into these dry valley of bones. Alright. <clears throat> Salaki, I'm a little under the weather. A little bit. Um, so, just bear with me. Uh, Shalom to you, sincere Akwathium that are out there that have subscribed to my channel as well. And <coughs> peace and blessings to you too. Alright. So, what I'm going to talk about today... Is um, like I said, I was um, kind of under the weather, I'm getting better, you know, through the spirit. Um, so I had some people, of course, reach out to me, you know, to check on me and see how I was doing and whatnot. And of course, you know, some of them were people from um, a church group back in uh, my home, you know, family member sent me out some things. Of course, when they called me. <coughs> They, of course, you know, do what Christians like to do and go into Christian fables. And so, therefore, they sent me a video um, by this um, Ask Legionnaire. I don't know who this is. I don't know who this group is. Legionnaire Ministries or Ligonier Ministries. I don't know who it is. But uh, basically, talking about God loves the sinner but hates sin. All right. You know, we already know what time it is with this. Okay, if you know, I sat here, well, I got it under no connection right now, so I'm going to drop this down and pull this connection back up so that you can read some of the comments. I mean, if you go down here and you scroll through here, obviously you're going to see a lot of nonsense down here. You'll have misplaced scriptures and, you know, just different ramblings from so-called Christians who have no idea. It's basically just the blind leading the blind. Okay. Now, all through the spirit, I know the times that we're in right now, we shouldn't, you know, thus those of us that are in the faith, you know, we already know what time it is and we're on the bigger and bigger, you know, bigger and better things. And we got bigger fish to fry. We got these prophecies and things like this to talk about. But I felt for the sake of time, the sake of edification, <coughs> I'm going to do a quick lesson upon this. All right. All through the spirit. It's edifying. Okay, so I'm gonna play a little bit of this clip and let y'all hear it, and uh, we'll we'll get to the scriptures. Most high will show them. Yes, in the sense that we are sinners and that we have sinned and do sin, and God loves us. Whoop 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 whoop! Stop right there. We sin and do sin, but God loves us, right? And first and foremost, you know they're gonna send Esau <coughs> to uh try to tell you about something so without further ado let's get some precepts first one we're gonna get actually i can do that i can go to romans 5 okay all right <coughs> and i'll start at 13 actually 12 this is Romans 5 and 12 says, Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so and so death passed upon all men, for that all have for all or for that all have sinned. For until the law sin was in the world, but sin is not imputed when there is no law. So what is that basically saying? Without the law, you can't sin. Okay? Is the law done away with? Absolutely not. How do we know that? Matthew, uh, Matthew 5, 10 tells us that. Okay? But for the sake of time, let's just go and get to it. We're going to go to the New Testament for you Christians. 1 John 3. <coughs> and we're going to start at 4. Okay? It says, who, it says, Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law for the sin or slack for sin is transgression of the law 
Okay, so now that we have that established, we're gonna keep reading down to six. Okay, and it says, and you know that ye had, and ye, and ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. Talking about Yahweh, okay, whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Okay, whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth has not seen him, neither known him. Okay, so this guy's over here are clearly going off. And hates our sin. But the way, is it Caleb? Yeah. The way Caleb has framed that uh, is, is the way in which that has often been used, uh, both in evangelism tactics. Um, I, I'm not even going to watch this. I'm just, I already know where it's going. So, let's get back to the precepts. Okay. And I'm going to roll right into Sirach 12. And I'm going to go ahead and tie this thing up. And just get straight to the point and just be done with it. Because the times that we're living in right now. Hey man. The apostles or the prophets. We're sounding an alarm man. We're sounding an alarm to, to the children of Israel man. To the ones that are hearing this calling man. That are waking up to this sound. This sound of the sweet song that we got going. Okay. And it's not for everybody. <coughs> but it's only for those that have an ear. Okay. We got the chip coming out. We got all different types of prophecies that are unfolding in front of our very eyes. We don't have time for this, man. Okay? So I'm going to get to it. This is uh, the book of Sirach, Ecclesiastes chapter 12. We're going to start at uh, verse... Um, we're going to start at verse 3. Okay? It says, there can, there can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil. And we already know who that is. That's the self-proclaimed white man known in the scriptures biblically as Esau Edom. Okay. Nor to him that giveth alms. Give to the godly man and help not a sinner. <coughs> okay. Scripture says help not a sinner. Totally contrary to what those other guys were talking about. Okay. Do well unto him that is lowly, but give not to the ungodly. Hold back thy bread, and give it not unto him, lest he overmaster thee thereby. For else thou shalt receive twice as much evil for all the good that thou have done unto him. And that's what you see week in and week out with these Christians, man. You see that happen all the time. Alright? Verse 6. For the Most High, here is the point. For the Most High hated sinners. For the Most High hated sinners, and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly, and keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment. Okay? So the Lord has a special place, man, set aside for the sinner. And no, it's not hell. Even though all hell is, is just the grave, which everybody's going to go to with the exception of a few. <coughs> because the Lord said that some of them shall not taste death. All right? And those are going to people that those are going to be people that are fighting for that incorruptible crown, man. That are going to get changed and beamed up, man. All right. <coughs> Verse seven: Give unto the good and help not the sinner. Plain, man. Just I mean, it reiterates back up there in verse four. It just tells you, don't deal with the wicked. Okay. You know the Lord is. Of course, we slip, we fall, but that's talking about people that have known the Most High, you know, that have that have the true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, that have repented, man, that have changed their ways. Of course, nobody's perfect on the plate on the planet, all right. But we understand those who who know the faith. This is what you know. Repentance is for that. Okay, it's not for people that don't that have no idea or that. Have come out of the knowledge and that no, man. And that decide to still mess up, man. Okay, even them. Even people like that. If you know better, guess what's going to happen? Even more bad things are going to happen to you because you know better. Just like it is with a child, man. Okay? When a parent whoops a child, they get it ten times or twice as bad if they already know. Okay? So, and with this, man, um, you know... <laughs> The point's been made. I hope this lesson was edifying.
And I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to give all praise, glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak, Kudash. <coughs> Double honors to the apostles and elders of great real stone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.